No, they're still engaged in the tuna lawsuit. I, I was right. It was chicken. Yeah. They've received a lawsuit for each of their chicken. Or for each... Jesus, sorry. For each of their ingredients, pretty much. But now, actually, I didn't know this. Subway is countersuing for a defamation lawsuit asking for $210 million in damages over the chicken report. So they're trying to counter that report. So the testing was done at Trent University using DNA in the Subway chicken. The tuna lawsuit is ongoing. This one, I guess, was dismissed in 2019. I didn't even know they tried to sue. Subway's not that terrible, though, right? It's fast food, brother. Uh, it, it is what you make of it. Any fast food place, you can actually find calorie-conscious options if you care. But Subway is not inherently healthier than, like, a McDonald's. It's just not. Thanks a bit, Sam, and the Risa Chevalier. I'm gonna give sub tuck. But Jared said, <laughs> I know, man. Classic fucking Jared Fogel. God rest his soul in jail. Actually, he's gonna be released pretty soon, which is crazy because the dude had like five terabytes worth of child porn and even actually filmed some of his own, if I remember correctly. The man not only had a ton of child porn, but he made child porn and he's still going to be released within the next couple of years. He was only sentenced to 15 years. Which is just wild. Absolutely wild. Thanks, give some tuck. Has it been 15 years? It's coming up on it. So I believe his release is 2030, right? Let me double check. I'm going off memory though, let me see. Yeah, he was, at, he was apprehended in 2015, so it'd be 2030 when he's released. So I guess we're not that close. But we're closer to it than we are away from it. It's March 24th, March 24th, 2029. Oh, okay. Mark your calendars then. Jared Fogel coming back into society. Yeehaw. Let's give some again, Tuck. Chat, who's Jared Fogel? It's actually crazy people don't remember Jared Fogel. This man was actually everywhere. He was a celebrity. He was the face of Subway. So he was initially an extremely, uh, like, overweight guy. He was obese. And then he started eating at Subway exclusively, and he lost weight. So they eventually used him as a spokesperson to try and peddle the narrative that Subway is a very healthy choice for anyone that's trying to lose weight. But realistically, what Jared did is he just ate in moderation. It wasn't necessarily Subway itself. It was literally he just stopped eating and stuffing his face as much. And he just happened to be doing that at Subway. But that's where he rose to fame. And then in 2015, it was revealed that he had like five terabytes worth of child porn 
as well as creating child porn of his own to to sell, I believe. So he was taken to jail, but only given a 15-year sentence, which is still crazy. I like the title of this second video, Family of Inmate Who Beat Up Jared Fogle Speaks. I can't believe he hasn't been beat up more. Thanks, the Prime, Aki. Thanks, the Resub Bruin. In the resub real pine. He's in a prison that houses pedophiles only. Really, they have a pedophile only prison. I, I don't, can't tell if you're making a joke or not. I'm actually going to look that up because now I'm curious. Oh, last year he spoke from prison. Subway's Jared Fogel speaks for the first time from prison. He said, I royally screwed up. <laughs> You don't say, Jared. You're a fucking pedophile. Jesus Christ. Things are a bit suboptimal. He already got beat up in prison once. Yeah, but they might have transferred him to a pedophile-only prison, I guess. I, I don't, that's just one guy who said that. I don't think there's a such thing as a pedophile-only prison. That, that doesn't sound like a real thing. Thanks, the resub pink juice. Looks better on prison food than Subway. Well, reading this here, like, he's literally saying he's in the best shape of his life physically and mentally. <laughs> that which is crazy so it doesn't even seem like he's upset about being in jail thanks Yusuf Hintai bet he's lying maybe I don't know man Is the recent feel bad in hentai in Philly and not yet digital in the prime Zuba? Isn't he wealthy? Of course, he's wealthy, was wealthy. 
and we'll be wealthy again on March 21st, 24th, 2029. Which is just crazy. The fact that he actually gets to be released from jail after all of this shit. Sickening. Exit Prime Lee's. There's some grateful Connor needs to talk to you about Tampa, by the way. Connor eats pants. Yeah, tell him to message me on Discord. Are you familiar with Oda Block? Should look into his current drama. Of course I'm familiar with Oda. What drama is he in? You talking about his move to kick? Because that's not really drama. Unless something happened today I don't know about. Thanks for your stone cold. You ready for the new Nick Cage movie? Rinfield? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a whirl. 